my dear friends, dear family, and I hope to be able to say by now a couple of followers. Welcome to this project, uh, Creating Dark Velvet. Uh, this is a project that has a lot of layers. And uh, although it seems that it is about creating a CD, recording a CD and releasing it, it is actually my main goal to bring the process closer to the audience. I hope that in this process, it's gonna be um, a little bit more approachable, the language of new music, once when you realize where it comes from, once you have an opportunity to uh, hear the composer saying something about it, or hear me practice a motive um, a couple of times and explain what it means to me. Um, in my latest story, Dark Velvet, story number 20 on a personal blog, Life in Progress, um, I have described the memory and the feeling that I have had since I have been a very, very little child uh, present while my father was composing his pieces. I have been a part of that bubble of what I describe dark velvet. And for me, that is a feeling of sound very secretly trying to find its way and searching to become music. Thanks to that experience that I have had since being very young, um, I think it left a very, very big imprint on me as a person and definitely on me as a musician. And uh, thanks to that aspect, I have had um, always a lot of composer friends uh, around me and I, I was, uh, I created a very strong bond very easily with composers. And um, I have shared my living space with a couple of them, my life with one of them. Um, I had many in tremendously close friends, composers, and it always led to talks, um, being interested in, in things and philosophy and to uh, talks about uh, life and music and, and art in general and uh, naturally questions about what is possible on the instrument, what is not, uh, consulting about certain effects or uh, layouts of, of double stops or sound textures and stuff like that. I've been always very, very happy to give a feedback and to be a part of a piece being created, naturally. Um, so, out of that closeness and close collaboration came out um, quite a couple of solo pieces dedicated for me, which I thought all of a sudden, why not putting them all on a CD? Why not giving them a life and send them into this world and hopefully somebody will hear it somewhere and get intrigued to maybe put it on their own repertoire and Therefore, they would find a way to have a life. Of course, for all this, I need you because I need to communicate this with you and I would really love you to be also excited about this journey as much as I am. In order for that to happen, I need you to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that you get heads up whenever a new video appears. Um, naturally, if you like this video, I would like to show that by thumbs up. Um, you can also find uh, all the details on yuliahartig.com. I'm gonna link all the links uh, relevant to what I have been just telling you about uh, under this video. And um, there you can also find about the music that you are hearing right now, 
which piece it is and where you can find the link to listen to it back if it sounded pleasant or intriguing to you and um, that's it I guess for now I don't want to tell you everything about everything because there is a long journey ahead of us and uh, I think approximately in a year we will get there to the final goal releasing the CD. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that three new pieces are being written as we speak right now, which makes me incredibly honored and grateful. And um, yeah, I will uh, bring that process also closer to you and uh, talk to the composers about it and I hope you will enjoy it. I wish you all a very, very pleasant day, evening, night, morning, wherever you are and uh, stay tuned and well, bye bye.